Welcome back to the class on a HVDC transmission system. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the line commutated current source converter. It's simply called as a LCCC. Already we know that in HVDC system, there is a sending end as well as a receiving end also there. In sending and receiving end, we are using the converters. Those converters may be the line commutated current source converter or the voltage source converter. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the line commuted current source converters in HVDC system. Oh, this is the circuit diagram S1, S3, S5, S2, S4, S6. The numbering for the valves are given in the sequence in which we are owning the device. Here, A phase, B phase, and C phase are connected, three phase supply. Awning and offing of the device. The AC voltage will be converted into the DC voltage. But here, line commuted current source converter, this valves becomes a SCR. The SCR is on only when the it is followed by us. Then if you apply the tegrim voltage to the SCR, the valve will be off only when the current through the device is come to the zero. Next we have to apply the reverse voltage to the valve. Then only it comes to the off state in case of a SCR. Now we are going to see how this converter will be operating so that this AC voltage will be converted into the DC voltage. We are assuming that at omega t equal to alpha, third device is on, nothing but S3. After 60 degrees, S4 is on. After 60 degrees, S5 is on, S6, next S1, S2. Once the device is on, it has to conduct a 120 degree. So, first 60 degrees, S3, S2 is conducting. Next 63 degrees, S3, S4 is conducting. Next, S4, S5 is conducting like this. When S3, S2 is conducting in the grid circuit, the output voltage becomes a VBC. When S3, S4 is conducting, the output voltage becomes a VBA. Next, VCA, VCB. VAC and VAB. In this manner, the DC voltage will be taking a power from the respect to line voltages which is coming from the input. This instant we are writing as a omega t equal to alpha. This instant we are taking as a alpha plus 60 where S4 is on. Now we are going to see the phasor diagram for the input voltage. Initially we have taken the B phase. EB equal to root 2 by 3 ELL sin omega t plus 30 because it is a reference this is 30 degrees so we are writing a plus 30 ELL is nothing but a RMS line voltage into root 2 it gives the maximum line voltage divided by root 3 it gives the maximum phase voltage because it is a phase voltage next C phase. This we can write it as a omega t minus 90 degree. Next A phase. Ea equal to root 2 by root 3 ELL sin omega t plus 150. Now from this phase voltages, we are going to find out the line voltages. The expression for the phase voltage we have written here. Now if we come to the line voltages, EBC, nothing but a, this is the phase B minus phase C. Nothing but this is phase C or the reverse this one. You find the phasor sum of this reverse vector and this vector. It gives the EBC. The expression for the EBC is the root 2 ELL sin omega t plus 60 degrees. The same manner opposite to this one. This is the mathematical expression for the ECB. ECA. Nothing but this is C, E C phasor. This is A phasor. You have to reverse this one and find out the phasor sum of these two. We are getting the E C A. This is the mathematical expression for the E C A phasor. Opposite to this one, this is the mathematical expression for the E A C. This is E B A. Next E A B. These are the mathematical expressions. Here we have written the six line voltages and the respect to mathematical expressions. <coughs> 
here we have taken the scale this line we have taken the omega t equal to alpha this we have taken the omega t equal to alpha plus 60 this omega t plus 120 like that every 60 degrees we have taken the one line so we are going to draw the output voltage within the 360 degrees after owning the device when alpha equal to 0 this is the output voltage we have this is the interval 1 2 3 4 5 6 the first interval dc voltage we are getting from the vbc that is equal to root 2 e ln sin omega t plus 60 second interval 3 4 devices are conducting the output voltage becomes a vba 4 5 5 6 6 1 1 2 like that these line voltages are giving a dc voltage to the output of a converter if alpha equal to 45 degrees we are getting this is the output voltage waveform. If alpha equal to 90, we are getting this is the output voltage waveform. This is 135. This is 180. So in this converter, we can change the firing angle from 0 to 180 degrees if we observe the output voltage waveform. At alpha equal to 0, the return output voltage will be lesser. When alpha is increasing up to 90 degrees, the return output voltage will be increasing. Between 90 to 180 degrees, Again, the ripple and output voltage will be decreases. Up to 90 degrees, nothing but before 90 degrees, the average output voltage becomes a positive. Above the 90 degrees, the average output voltage becomes a from omega t equal to alpha to omega t equal to alpha plus 60 degrees. What is the waveform is there? The same waveform will be repeating for the every cycle. If you find the average output voltage, Vd equal to 3 by pi integral alpha to alpha plus 60 root 2 e l l sin omega t plus 60 this is nothing but a v b c now this waveform we are integrating between the alpha to alpha plus 60 divided by the base length that gives the average output voltage so finally we are getting the v d equal to v d naught into cos alpha where v d naught equal to 1.35 e l l e l l is nothing but a rms line voltage now we are going to see the voltage across the one device that is the S3. Once the device is on, it is conducting a 120 degrees, remaining 240 degrees, it is not conducting. Nothing but there is some amount of voltage will be appearing across the device S3. So from 0 to 240 degrees, from this point to this point, there is some amount of voltage will be across the S3, 120 degrees, the voltage across the device becomes a 0. During the first interval, 3 and a 2 is conducting, so the VAB voltage becomes a minus, minus root 2 ELL sin omega t. So here we are getting the negative, up to here we are getting the VAB voltage. Again from this point to this point we are getting the VAC voltage. In this interval, there is no voltage across the... If the firing angle is increases to 45 degrees, this is the voltage across the... Next 90 degrees, this is the voltage across the S3. Alpha equal to 135, this is the voltage waveform across the S3. Alpha equal to 180, this is the voltage waveform across the S3. So from this we can see very easily that there is a jump in a voltage across the device. The three jumps are there. Suppose if you take the alpha equal to 45, this is one jump. This is another jump. This is third jump. So why we are finding this jump in a voltage across the SCR is means that is due to the commutation of the same group. Again here one jump, here one jump, here one more jump, nothing total three jumps. So because of the jump in voltage, there is some high voltage will be appears across the device that will be damped by the damper circuit across the SCR. Now we are going to find out the how much is the jump in voltage across the device that is vj equal to root 2 e l sin alpha that is equal to pi by 3 vd0 sin alpha where alpha is nothing but a firing angle of the device we jump in a voltage even though firing angle changing from 0 degree to 180 degrees this is same for s3 the same manner the voltage will be applied for the remaining device also but here we shown only the voltage across the 
एस थ्री ओ एन नेक्स्ट डीसी वोल्टेज हार्मोनिक दिस ग्रेट इज कन्वर्टर विल बी कन्वर्टिंग द एसी वोल्टेज टू द डीसी वोल्टेज बट वॉट आर द वोल्टेज वी आर गेटिंग एट ए डीसी दैट इज नॉट ए प्योर डीसी इट हेज सम अमाउंट ऑफ हार्मोनिक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू फोर इयर एनालिसिस द आउटपुट वोल्टेज वेव फॉर्म इज कंसिस्टिंग ए हार्मोनिक ऑर्डर हेच ई कोड सिक्शन वेर एन इज नथिंग बट ए इंटीजर हार्मोनिक आर एम एस आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज गिवेन बाई वी हेच इक्वल टू स्के रूट ऑफ ए हेच स्के प्लस बी हेच स्के बै रूट टू वेर ए हेच एंड बी हेच आर डिफाइंड हियर ए हेच इक्वल टू वन बै पै इंटीग्रल आलफा टू आलफा प्लस टू पै वी डी कॉस हेच थीटा डी थीटा बी हेच आलो डिफाइंड हियर बट ओन द डिफरेंस इज दियर कॉस थीटा हियर द सैन थीटा If we compute this integration and substitute the values here in this expression, we are getting the V H equal to V D naught into root two by H square minus one into one plus H square minus one sine square alpha power one by two. So we can easily understand that the output voltage is consisting of order of the harmonic H equal to six n nothing but a If we take n equal to one, sixth harmonic. If we take n equal to two, twelfth harmonic. If we take n equal to three, eighteenth harmonic. So six, twelve, eighteen, like that, the harmonics will be present in a DC output voltage, AC current waveform. The grid converter will be converting the AC voltage into DC voltage. Here we are keeping the one inductor to decrease the ripples in a DC current. Now we are going to examine the phase B current. The current is coming from the transformer. Here we have taken the phase B voltage and phase B current. In this interval, S3 is conducting, so the phase B current is becomes a phase two that is equal to ID. That is DC link current. Again, in this interval, S6 is conducting, phase B current is nothing but a negative. That is equal to minus I D. S3 is conducting 120 degrees here. S6 is conducting 120 degrees here. I D equal to I3 equal to I D, where omega T is greater than the alpha and less than the alpha plus 120 degrees. And I B equal to I6 that is equal to minus I D. Omega T is greater than the alpha plus 180 degrees and less than the alpha plus 300 degrees. If we write the fundamental component for this. Current I1 equal to 1 by root 2 into 2 by pi integral minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 ID cos theta d theta. If we solve this one, we are getting the root 6 pi by ID. Where ID is nothing but a constant DC link current. We are assuming that the constant DC link current we are getting due to this smoothing inductor. If we find the RMS current. From this waveform, we are getting the I equal to root two by three into I. This is the fundamental current. This is the RMS current. So, from the Fourier analysis, we can find that this current is consisting of harmonics. Those harmonics will be passing from the transformer. The order of those harmonics is equal to six n plus or minus one. Suppose if we take n equal to one, then we are getting the Five and seven. If we take n equal to two, we are getting eleven and thirty. So like that, the harmonics will be presented in the IB current. That those harmonics should be come from the transformer. That's power factor of the converter. The AC power supplied by the converter is equal to PEAC. That is equal to root three E L I one cos theta. Where I one is nothing but a RMS value of the fundamental current. Pi is nothing but a The angle between the voltage and the fundamental current. In case of HVDC system, the input power equal to the output power. If we neglect the losses in a converter, so VD ID equal to root three E L L I one cos theta. I think about this one. The input power equal to DC link power. Already we know the values for the VD and I one previously. Now substitute these values in the above equation and simplify this one. Finally, we are getting the cos alpha equal to cos pi. Nothing but a. If alpha is increases, the power factor will be 
decreases and finally if you alpha equal to 90 degrees the power factor becomes a zero nothing but the converter will be taking only the reactive power when alpha equals 90 degrees so thank you very much for watching this video